What about when a record in a table is related to another record in the same table, such as a contact to a parent or a grandparent, or a part that contains another part, that contains another part, that contains another part, that contains a little baby part, or a category that's part of another category. These kinds of relationships are called hierarchical relationships and often appear in databases. Hi, this is Crystal. There are various ways to store hierarchies. The simplest form is where each item has a single parent, and each parent can have zero or more children. This database stores questions and answers. Each question has a category. This question, what is one plus one, is a math question, and specifically, an addition question. Math and addition are both categories. Addition is part of math, but math isn't part of addition. Cat ID is an auto number and the primary key of the categories table. The cat ID for math is 1. The field to store a parent topic is called cat ID underscore. In the addition record, by storing 1 in the parent category, any addition questions can also be categorized under math. As you add more questions and get more categories, you might change how categories are related. Arithmetic has been added. Its parent category is math. Now the parent category of addition is changed to arithmetic. To show each category with its parent category, you can make a query. From the ribbon, create. Query design. I like to drag tables from the navigation pane and resize the field list to see everything. Double click fields in the field list to put them on the grid. Category is a text field with the name. Cat ID is the primary key. The cat ID for addition is 2, so 2 is the criteria. The datasheet view shows one record for addition. In the design view, add another copy of the category table. The names or aliases of the tables must be unique. Since the category table is already there, access appends underscore one to the end of the name for the copy. How are these two field lists related? In the category table, cat ID underscore is the parent category. It's related to the cat ID primary key in another record. Drag from cat ID underscore to cat ID. Edit the join property to show all the records from category. So you can see records even if they don't have a parent. The line starts from the main table, the arrow points to the less important table, the one with records that may or may not be there. A child doesn't have to have a parent. Now we add category from the parent table to the grid. Look at the datasheet view. Column names have to be unique. Since category is coming from more than one source, Access adds the source name dot to the front of the duplicate fields. Let's fix that. Go back to design. Give the parent category an alias of category1. The calculated field name, or alias, is anything before a colon in the field cell on the QBE grid. QBE is query by example. Look at the datasheet view. That works. Each field has a unique name. Now, how do we add another level? Go back to the design view.
drag another copy of the category table over. Again, the relationship goes from cat ID underscore in the lower table to the cat ID primary key in the parent table. Put its category on the grid. I'm double clicking the field name in the field list. Shift F2 in the field cell to zoom. Add an alias of category 2. Edit the join properties of the link line to show all records from category underscore 1. Keep the arrows going in the same direction. The datasheet view shows our addition category and its parent category of arithmetic and its grandparent category of math. Two levels up might not be enough, though. How do we add another level? Go back to Design, drag another copy of Category, link on the parent cat ID underscore in the lower table to the cat ID primary key in the next table, put the category on the grid, Shift F2 to zoom, add an alias of Category 3. What if we don't change the join properties? When you try to show the datasheet view, Access gives an error message that there are ambiguous outer joins. That's because the last link line needs to have an arrow. Change the join properties to show all records from the left table, Category 2. Look at the datasheet view. Addition doesn't have a category three levels up, but shows the other categories above it. Save this query as QCATTREE3. Later, we'll remove the criteria. When you're building a query, it's good to test it with data that you know you have. The most important thing that Access stores for a query is the SQL statement. SQL stands for Structured Query Language. Access doesn't show it to us in a very readable way, so I wrote some code to make it more clear. Right now I'm running that code in Word and just replacing the SQL statement. Category and cat ID are coming from the category table. Category from the category underscore one table is called category one. Category from the category underscore two table is called category two. And category from the category underscore three table is called category three. The from clause lists the category table four times. The relationships use left joins, so there will be an arrow on each link line in design view. The WHERE clause limits the records to showing information for cat ID equals 2 only. That's the addition category. It was limited for now since we knew what the results should be. Back on the question and answer form, we haven't picked a category for our question yet. This list shows each category name but doesn't show how that category is related to other categories. I'll pick addition for the category. If I click the button to edit the category, I see that the parent category for addition is arithmetic. Let's go back to the design view of this form and get the combo box to show more columns. Click the combo box control to select it. If the property sheet isn't showing, turn it on. The control source is cat ID. That's a foreign key to cat ID in the category table. It's a combo box, so its row source can come from another table, or a query, or an SQL statement. This row source is an SQL statement. The builder dot 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 or Control-F2, shows the design view in the grid, 
But first, I'll replace the SQL statement with the one that I just formatted by running VBA in Microsoft Word. Shift F2 to zoom. Notice how variations of the F2 key are edit and then other ways of editing. Just a little tip to help you remember it. In this case, we don't want any criteria, so delete the WHERE clause. Here we are. There are a couple things to change, but this is a good start. OK to change the SQL statement. Now we'll look at it with the Query Builder. This is the graphical representation of the SQL statement. There is our category table and three more copies of it, each using the parent ID to link to the primary key of another record. The field lists are arranged so the arrows all point from the left to the right. The grid shows the category and cat ID fields from the category field list. Then comes the parent category, category 1, the grandparent category, category 2, and the great-grandparent category, category 3. The datasheet view shows what we created to show levels for addition, minus the criteria. The data doesn't appear to be in any particular order, and that's because the SQL statement didn't have an order by clause. Originally, it was just getting one record, but we deleted that criteria. More importantly, however, the combo box that this is a row source for will collect a cat ID and display other columns with information. Although you can change the bound column property of a combo box to be something other than one, I don't like to do that. I would rather change the order of the fields in the SQL statement. Let's go to the design view and make cat ID be the first column. When looking at the datasheet view, I like to set the column widths. Notepad is handy to write them down as you're looking at them. What is the column count? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. What are the column widths? The first column will be hidden, so it will be 0. Let's say each of the category columns needs 2 inches, which is about 5 centimeters. It's a good idea to figure out the column count and column widths while you're looking at the data. In Notepad, copy the column widths and remember the column count. On the property sheet, fill column count. That's 5. Press Tab, paste the column widths constructed in Notepad, Tab, Tab, Tab to the list width, add the column widths. 0 plus 2 plus 2 plus 2 plus 2 equals 8, and add 0 0.2 inches for a scroll bar, or about half a centimeter. So that makes it 8.2 inches. Save. See how it looks in the form view. Some of the column widths could be changed. Let's try 1.5 inches for the first column. 1.2 inches for the next two, and 1 inch for the last column. Tab, tab, tab to the list width. 1.5 plus 2.4 is 3.9 plus 1 is 4.9 plus 0 0.2 for a scroll bar is 5.1. I think I'll put the first column width back to 2. That makes the list width half an inch wider, so 5.6 inches. The combo box still stores the same thing, cat ID. But now it shows more columns. What if you want to go the other way? Create a new query on the category table. Put cat ID and category on the grid. Let's limit this to math. The cat ID for math is 1, so that goes in the criteria cell under cat ID. Now add more copies of the category table. 
This time we'll go one level deeper. Once the tables are there and resized, drag the relationships. This time they go from cat ID in the main table to the parent cat ID underscore in the copy. Set the join properties to show all records from category. Continue this pattern for the rest of the field lists. Now let's put category from each table on the grid. On the grid, we see that five columns are using a field with the same name. Let's assign aliases. To differentiate from the aliases we used before, the name for the child will be subcat1, short for subcategory. The next level will be subcat2. The third level will be subcat3. And the last level is subcat4. Sort in ascending order by each category. That looks good for math. Now that we've tested our logic, let's change this query to show all the main categories and what's below them. So we won't put criteria under cat ID. What is the criteria to get just the main records? In the category table, the topmost parent ID won't have a value. So add cat ID underscore from category to the grid. Put null in the criteria and uncheck the show box since we don't need to see an empty column. Notice that access corrected the criteria to is null. Now we see our hierarchical data from the top down. This database is still being built as more categories are needed, they can be added. I made a video showing you how to use the Not in List event to easily add new categories. The link is in the video description. In summary, you learned how to create a simple hierarchical structure in Access by putting a foreign key in the same table as the primary key. To make it clear that this is a parent ID, I like to put an underscore after the primary key field name for the foreign key field name. You saw how to create a query from the bottom up showing upper levels for the categories. We also created a top down query to show all the main categories and subcategories below them. We looked at an SQL statement and assigned aliases. You also saw how to modify the row source of a combo box to show more columns. You can download code such as Not in List, tools, look at videos, and lots more from msaccessgurus.com. If you're building a project, I'd love to connect and help you make it successful. Go to msaccessgurus.com and contact me. I look forward to hearing from you. Thanks for joining me. Through sharing, we'll all get better.